In this video, we're taking this to this. Okay, so we're gonna be working on seats today. Uh, this is the driver's seat. You may have seen it in a previous video. And the, it has two, three, maybe four issues. Okay, so the first issue is it does have a small little hole here. Um, the second issue is uh, it is kind of dirty. We've tried cleaning it and that didn't really work out so well. So uh, we've got something else we're gonna try today. Uh, the third issue is, uh, it does not work. So there's a cable inside here and it is broken and we will be repairing that today. And while we're doing that, the uh, fourth and hopefully final issue is this recliner, as you can see, it is broken and basically just adjust one side and you can, hopefully you can see but it's kind of twisted and crooked so uh, the way we're gonna fix that issue is I picked up this uh, replacement back at the uh, auto wrecker I got it for cheap and it does it is not broken here um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this cover off here and pull the cover off of here and basically switch the internals. Hopefully that uh, goes smoothly and we get her done. Okay, so I think the, what we're gonna do to start is uh, we're gonna start with this donor piece and just disassemble it. Uh, and to do that, we're gonna start by just bending back these clips, which will allow us to pull the cover off and uh, see what's underneath. So we got that cover off. That was way more involved than I was expecting. Um, I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but uh, we've got our new frame here, and uh, as you can see, it is not uh, it is working correctly as far as this goes. Um, here's an idea of the internals on here, but uh, the actual jaws that. Uh, Hold the seat back to the bottom and you release with this lever to uh, tilt it are a little bit seized up. So the next thing we're going to do is just uh, use some penetrating oil and get those moving again. And then uh, we'll start disassembly of the other seat. But like I said, uh, it's not simply a cover. It's kind of, uh, it was a lot more involved than we thought. So fingers crossed we can make this work. So. Okay, so we've got this stripped down. We managed to uh, basically free these up, so they're working correctly now. We've got one attached here, so it will, it controls that now. You can see the other side is broken. Here's the end of it, and uh, it's just snapped. So what we're gonna do is uh, basically replace this wire. I'm not 100% sure whether we replace both of them or just the one, but uh, we'll do that, and then we will Move on to the next thing. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna to use to uh, repair the seat tilting latch. Um, I picked up some cable just at the hardware store. It's a 1 8 stainless steel cable, steel cable anyways, and it actually has a plastic coating on it. And then uh, <coughs> I picked up these oval sleeves to kind of, which we're gonna use. Basically, we will loop it through the attachments and then use these to hold it together. Now I don't have the proper tool to crimp these so we are just going to be using this kind of pair of pliers, cutters, whatever they are. Uh, hopefully that works. If not, remember this is DIY garage build so and we're all about analog here so we'll see how it works.
Okay, so we've got it all together now. You can see where we've uh, basically looped the wire through here, and then we've crimped it on each. This side one, this is the one that normally breaks on the seats, so it runs across and then just around to the hook here, and then back, and then this side, it just runs straight down underneath and to the hook here. So now you can see when I pull the lever, they uh, open and close, open and close. So hopefully that does it. Now uh, I think what we're going to do is move on to the disassembly of that seat back and then hopefully we can switch everything over. So, Okay, we're going to uh, begin the assembly of this seat now. So the first thing we're going to do is just uh, pop off this handle on the uh, tilt. It should just snap off. Be careful not to lose this little clip that just fell off with it because that's basically what keeps the handle from falling off. Uh, next thing, you can just pull this little piece off and then basically what we have to do is remove this cover. So to remove the cover, there's three little push pins that you just push through and uh, again, try not to lose them because they do just kind of fall through. Of course, when you're dealing with uh, old plastic, there's always a chance things can break, but uh, there. And yeah, so this one is a little bit broken, but I think it'll still work. And uh, these two look good, so that should still be able to go back on. I'm going to collect these little plastic pieces. One is MIA, but I think it's just in here somewhere. So we'll watch for it to fall out at another point. Okay, and then, now there is a little clip here that just holds this pin on here, which I should be able to just pull off. There we go. We'll just do the same to the other side. the second side disassembled. Now, uh, after removing that little spring clip here, it's basically you can just pull and that pops off there. And do the same with the other side here. And the back is free. So we will move the bottom out of the way and we'll start disassembly of the back. So we've got this back together and now this should uh, adjust properly and evenly and uh, I think we're pretty happy with how it turned out. This one uh, came apart a lot easier than that first one did and uh, we were able to get it back together. So we were a little stressed but uh, yeah, it's all back together and we're pretty happy with it. Um, so now we are going to move on to what we're going to do as far as this being dirty and stuff. And what we've got here is uh, we picked up some duplicate color. We've got the dark gray, and we're going to try to uh, basically paint this. Um, we're not really sure how it's going to work out, but uh, we figure if this doesn't work, the next step anyways would have been uh, seat covers. So we're going to give this a try. So, so the first thing is just to uh, make sure it's nice and clean. We're going to vacuum it all up, get any dust off of it, any oil or grease, and then... Uh, we're going to start by putting a, a couple light coats and see how it looks. So. Okay, so we've uh, basically we've cleaned this really well, we've masked it off, and now uh, we're going to give it a go. So I'm going to just apply some uh, nice light cloaks, and uh, we'll see how it goes.
Okay, so that's we got down, I think, uh, how many coats? Two coats on everything. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But uh, it was a little bit hard kind of getting into the cracks of the seats. But like I said, these seats were pretty rough shape. So um, I don't know if I would do this if my seats were in good shape. And I just wanted to change the color, but these were kind of badly stained and uh, needing a refresh. So uh, what we're going to do now is just kind of unmask them and then give them a little bit to dry for the final drying. And then we're going to start putting them back together. And we'll kind of show you, uh, we've only done the one seat. We just did the driver's seat today just to see how it works. But uh, I think we're pretty happy. We'll put it back together and then we'll do a side by side with the driver's seat and the passenger seat, which we haven't done yet. And uh, you guys can let us know what you think. So here they are side by side. Hopefully, you can tell this is the passenger seat, which has not been rejuvenated. And that is the seat we've been working on today. So let's take a look. This one was not broken, so it tilts. This one, dun dun dun. Now it tilts, yay! All right, so uh, yeah, we're pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, we think it's a big improvement, and uh, we'll see. It's a little bit crunchy right now from the paint so I'm not sure if that will soften up hopefully a little bit as we uh, use it and uh, but otherwise uh, yeah I'd say uh, job well done okay so that's gonna be the end of uh, this video uh, I've just got the seats just set in here uh, just to see how they look they haven't been installed or anything so that'll be in an upcoming video but uh, yeah we're happy with how this turned out really happy with how this uh, dupla color vinyl and fabric coating worked. Uh, it was very easy to apply and uh, I think it made a big improvement on how our seats were looking. So um, up next, I'm not sure. I don't think we're gonna use this on the rear seats. They're in pretty good shape, um, but we will definitely be doing the passenger seat upcoming. And then it's uh, just continuing on with putting everything back together. Hopefully we can get the engine running. Um, just finish up a little bit of the wiring and maybe get it started up in an upcoming episode as well. So as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time on Analog Generation.